Have you ever wondered how the internet works? In today's interconnected world, the internet has become an integral part of our daily lives. We use it to connect with friends and family to browse the web for information and to shop for goods and services. But for those who are not familiar with technical jargon and terminologies, the concept of the internet can seem complicated and overwhelming. In this video, we will explain the internet to non-techies in simple everyday examples and analogies. So, what exactly is the internet? In simple terms, the internet is a vast network of interconnected computers that communicate with each other. It's like a huge spider web that connects countless computers and devices across the globe. When you connect to the internet, you are essentially joining this web of computers, allowing you to send and receive data from anywhere in the world. To understand how the internet works, let's use an analogy. Imagine you want to send a message to a friend who lives in another city. You write the message down and put it in an envelope, then give it to a courier service to deliver it to your friend. The courier service picks up the envelope, takes it to their local hub, sorts it, and sends it on to the destination city where it's delivered to your friend's address. The internet works similarly. When you send an email or visit a website, the information is broken down into packets of data which are sent across the internet to their destination. Along the way, these packets travel through various routers and hubs until they reach their destination. Every device that connects to the internet is assigned a unique IP address, which is a series of numbers that identifies the device's location on the network. This is similar to your home address, which identifies your location in the physical world. In addition to IP addresses, websites also have domain names, which are easier for people to remember than IP addresses. Think of domain names as phone numbers and IP addresses as the actual phone lines. When you type in a domain name like google.com, the browser looks up the IP address associated with the domain and connects you to the website. When you visit a website, you are essentially sending a request to a web server for the website's files. The web server sends these files back to your browser, which then processes them and displays the website on your screen. Think of the web server as a store, and your browser as the customer. When you visit the store, you ask for a particular item, and the store clerk goes to the back to retrieve it for you. Your browser works in a similar way by requesting specific files from the web server. Have you ever noticed the letters HTTP or HTTPS at the beginning of a website URL? HTTP stands for Hypertext Transfer Protocol, which is the set of rules for transferring files such as web pages over the internet. HTTPS is similar, but with an added layer of security to protect sensitive data such as passwords and credit card information. Think of HTTP slash HTTPS as the language that your browser and the web server use to communicate with each other. Just like two people speaking different languages can have difficulty understanding each other, the browser and server need to use the same language to effectively communicate. In conclusion, the internet may seem complicated and overwhelming, but it's important to understand how it works in today's interconnected world. By using simple everyday examples and analogies, we can break down the complex technical concepts into easy to understand ideas. We hope that this video has helped you understand the internet better and has made you more confident in using it in your daily life.